This is a difficult one because lung cancer patients are exactly the high-risk population. They have lung disease, they're older, um, and our clinic, I had clinic yesterday, and our waiting room was packed with patients, and um, that's, a, that's the worst conceivable, it, it's like a nursing home on steroids, right? It's the worst conceivable environment for passing around this virus. So I don't know what, what the solution to this is. Um, I think we're just today uh, reported in Ohio was a case of a man who hadn't traveled. He was 50 years old. He had no known contacts with the disease, but he must have gotten it from just someone in the community. So we're not talking about just people from China, you know, or Italy or wherever. It's, it's among us. Um, but still the fact is that a hundred times as many people die of just regular influenza uh, than die of this disease. Um, so I think we need to study this disease. We need to come up with a vaccine. We need to do the best we can with standard precautions of hand hygiene and that kind of thing. Um, and then um, hopefully within a year we'll have a vaccine and we can start immunizing people. But even the, the flu vaccine has been out there and people are still not getting immunized with the flu vaccine. So uh, we have our work cut out for us.